Hey, I'm Mr. Perez. Welcome to Beginning Algebra. Now remember, Beginning Algebra is the big time. Also, if you find that you need to brush up on your pre-algebra skills, be sure to go to the Algebra to Go homepage where you can find many resources, many free resources to help you move through the Algebra series. Well, anyway, let's get started. Let's get out our student of the semester, Charlie. He actually passed pre-algebra. He better be ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing? Let's <laughs> fool around. Well, get out a piece of paper and pencil. And let's get ready to go. Here we go, right there. Today, we're going to do a review of fractions. Multiplication, division, and reducing fractions. Oh, what fun. Let's get started right here. Write each fraction in lowest terms. That means always reduce your fractions. Okay, 9 fifteenths. Now, Charlie, what's a common factor of a 9 and a 15? 3. That's right. That means what is a number that divides evenly into a 9 and a 15? And that's 3. And what's 9 divided by 3, Charlie? 3. And 15 divided by 3? 5. Very nice there. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. Now, let's do another one. Don't get scared. Anyway, Charlie, we have 68 over 16. They're both even numbers, which means they can both be divided by what? 2. That's right. And what's 68 divided by 2? 34. 16 divided by 2? 8. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, once again, we still have even numbers. So again, we can divide by what? 2. That's right. That is just too good. Anyway, all right, Charlie, what's 34 divided by 2? 17. And 8 divided by 2? 4. Very nice there. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. Now, some of you may be asking, well, hey, could we have divided by 4 in the very beginning? Yes, you could have. And that would have shortened our approach to the answer. Now, I know a lot of you can do it, but he can't. Never mind, Charlie. Anyway, now, suppose you were asked to write your answer as a mixed number. Well, you have to see how many times 4 goes into 17. In other words, what's 17 divided by 4? All right, Charlie, what's 17 divided by 4? 4. four. 4 with a remainder of what? 1. 1. So that gives us 4 and 1 fourth. That's the mixed number representation of 17 fourths. Remember, 4 and 1 fourth actually means 4 plus 1 fourth. Okay, Charlie, let's continue on. Now, don't get scared. 125 divided by 500. Now, Charlie, suppose you had $1.25. How many quarters does it take to make up $1.25? Five. That's right. So if we take 125 and divide by 25, that would be 5. All right, Charlie. So how many quarters does it take to make $5? 20. Very nice there, Charlie. That's right. That's 20. Now, we have 5 twentieths. What's a common factor of a 5 and a 20? 5. That's right. And so 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Oh, what fun. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. Now, let's continue on here. Multiply. Always, Charlie, always write the answers in lowest terms, which means, translation, always reduce those fractions. All right, Charlie, here we go. Now we're multiplying three-fourths, I'm sorry, what? three-sevenths times four-fifths. I got this right. Keep it down over there, Charlie. What? Now, how do we multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Very nice there, Charlie. I guess you learned something last semester. All right, so here we go. Three times four is what? Twelve. And seven times five? 35. Very nice there, Charlie. And our answer is 12 35ths. Oh, what fun. Let's do another one. Now, in pre-algebra, we were talking about reducing before we multiply. And some of you were referring to this as cross-canceling. It just means what you're trying to look for is a number up in the numerator and a number in the denominator that have a common factor. And they don't have to be within the same fraction. Now, you can only do this when you're multiplying fractions. Don't forget, only when you're multiplying. You can't do this when you're dividing. You can't do this when you're adding or subtracting or you have an equal sign. You can only reduce like this, cross cancel, when you have a multiplication sign in between the two fractions. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Now, what's a common factor of a three and a six? Three. That's right. And three divided by three is? One. Six divided by three? Two. That's right. Now, multiply across the top. One times seven is? Seven. And five times two? Ten. Very nice there, Charlie. Your answer is seven tenths. Well, suppose you did not reduce before you multiply. Well, that's fine. You can multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, and you see three times seven is 21, five times six is 30, and you have to reduce. Well, Charlie, 
What's a common factor between a 21 and a 30? Three. That's right. So we're dividing by three again, just like we did over here. And so 21 divided by three is seven and 30 divided by three is 10. And there's our answer, seven tenths. All right, child, let's continue on now. Don't get scared. Five fourths times 11 six times three over 22. Don't get scared. Now, Charlie, give me two numbers that have a common factor. 11 and 22, that's right. They're both divisible by 11. 11 divided by 11 is one. 22 divided by 11 is two. Now, do you see any other numbers, one from the top, one from the bottom, that have a common factor? Three and six, that's right. Remember, you gotta have a number from the numerator and a number from the denominator. Okay, they're both divisible by three. Three divided by three is one, and six divided by three is two. Now, how do we multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight across the top and the bottom. That's right. So in the numerator, we're multiplying what three numbers? The five, the one, and the one. That's right. In the denominator, four, two, and two. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, what's five times one times one? Five. And four times two times two, which is the same as four times four, 16. That's right. When you're multiplying numbers together, you can multiply in any order. Don't forget that. And so our answer is five sixteenths. All right, Charlie, let's go on. Now, we're going to divide. Don't get scared. Always write the answers in lowest terms. So here we are with 3 sevenths divided by 4 fifths, Charlie. Now, what do we do when we divide with a fraction? Multiply by the reciprocal. That's right, we multiply by its reciprocals. And notice, we're multiplying by 5 fourths. Okay, and we just multiply straight across the top. We get 15 on the bottom, 28. There we go, 15 over 28. Those two numbers do not have a common factor, so it is reduced. All right, Charlie, now, 4 fifths divided by 24 sevenths. We multiply by the reciprocal, which is 7 24ths. Do you see two numbers that have a common factor, Charlie? The 4 and the 24. That's right. And so 4 divided by 4 is 1. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And so we get 7 over 30. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, let's continue on. Now don't get scared. 5 sevenths divided by 1 third times 2, right? Okay, now First thing we're going to do is we're going to change our division to a multiplication, right? We're going to, instead of dividing by one third, we're multiplying by the reciprocal three over one. Now we don't do anything with that two, right? We don't flip it over, but we do want to write the two as a fraction. How do we do that, Charlie? Two over one. That's right. Do you see any common factors with a number from the numerator and a number from the denominator? No, nope. So you can't reduce before you multiply. So we're going to multiply. Five times three is 15 times two is 30. And seven times one times one is seven. Oh, what's fun. Let's do another one, Charlie. Now, five fourths divided by seven twelfths divided by four over 21. Don't get scared. All right, Charlie. Now, notice what we're going to do here. We're going to change our divisions to multiplications, right? By using the reciprocal. So notice, we don't change the five fourths. You leave that one alone. Instead of dividing by seven twelfths, we multiply by what, Charlie? 12 sevenths. That's right. And instead of dividing by four over 21, we multiply by what? 21 fourths. 21 fourths. Isn't this fun? Anyway, Charlie, all right. Now, do you see any numbers with common factors? 12 and 4. Yes, the 12 and the 4. Well, we'll use that 4 over there, right? And how about other numbers, Charlie? 21 and 7. 21 and 7. That's right. They're both divisible by 7. Okay. Now, notice here. What's 12 divided by 4? 3. And 4 divided by 4? 1. Very nice. And now we'll do the 21 and the 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3. And 7 divided by 7, 1. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, so we just multiply across the top, which is 5 times 3 times 3. Now remember, we're multiplying, so we can multiply in any order we'd like. Let's do 3 times 3, which is 9. And what's 9 times 5, Charlie? 45. Very nice there, Charlie. And 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. That was a good lecture. All right. Well, now that we've got into beginning algebra, We've got a long way to go before we get to the next class, which is intermediate algebra, which is the real big time. Anyway, let's take a break and we'll see you all again soon.